Hey happy homemakers, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what I'm packing for a vacation for my two toddlers. Chloe has just turned 16 months old and Marcus will be three in July. So coming up, my family and I are gonna be going on a trip to visit my grandparents, but also spend some time in Seattle. On our list of places we wanna go is Pike's Market, Ivers, and then also there's a really fun museum slash gift shop called Yield Curiosity Shop, which I grew up going to, so I thought it would be really fun to bring the kids to. Anyway, so we have been traveling a lot just this past year, and so I thought I would sit down and make a video on the tips that I've learned on how to pack light, just grabbing the essentials that the kids need so they could all fit into one suitcase, and how to stay organized when you're living out of suitcases, because in the past, things have just kind of been a crazy mess, no matter how much I try to straighten it up, and I'm finding that the easiest way to keep everything orderly and save on space is by using packing cues, so I'm really excited to share with you guys the sponsor of today's video, which is Bad Gale. Bad Gale makes a huge variety of affordable packing cubes. They're made of high quality nylon and very durable zippers with a lifetime guarantee, which is awesome. The set that I'm going to be packing the kids clothes in is this seven piece set. Storage wise, this is great because all of the packing cubes fit in the smallish mesh bag. I'm going to start with a smallish packing cube for the kids' pajamas and Chloe's onesies. My second tip for keeping things neat and orderly is to fold everything really tightly. I like to fold versus roll. I just think it looks neater and that makes me happy. And I think I forgot to mention that we are going to go for the weekend, three days and two nights but it possibly could end up being longer. So I'm making sure to pack enough clothes for five days. So for Chloe, I have these three onesies because I'm not sure what the weather is gonna be like. I mean, it's the same as it is here pretty much. And the weather's kind of been on and off, like really rainy and cold one day, and then the sun will come out the next day and we're in shorts and t-shirts. So I just kind of wanna be prepared for everything. So I have three long sleeve onesies that I can just put under any of Chloe's clothes and she'll be nice and warm. And so the way I'm gonna fold the onesies is in half lengthwise with the snaps done at the bottom because that just helps it be neater. Then I'm gonna fold in the sleeves and then fold them lengthwise in thirds. If we were just staying for the two nights, I would probably only pack the kids each one pair of pajamas, but since it could be multiple, I wanted to have two just in case. And then after that, if anything should happen, I'll just do laundry if I need to. So anyways, I'm just packing one side with Chloe's and then one the other side with Marcus's. Um, for the pajamas, I again just fold them in half widthwise and then up in thirds lengthwise. And then the same thing with the little shirts. Most people hate folding little kids clothes, but I kind of like it because it means that I have a little baby around and I just really like that. Anyway, so there's Chloe's side done and then I'm just going to fold Marcus's the same way and place those inside as well. I really love that these cubes have a mesh top because then you can see exactly what's inside each cube. I'm gonna take the next size up and pack the kids outerwear and also their sleep sacks. Um, instead of packing blankets for the kids, which I think take up a little bit more room, um, besides Marcus hates them and he kicks them off, I have just these sleepers. This is a toddler sleeper for Marcus and I'm just gonna fold that in thirds and then place it at the bottom of the cube. And then Chloe has this really cute sleep sack. Again, I'm just gonna fold it into thirds and put it on top. And then of course, because it's Seattle, I have a rain jacket for each one of them. So I just lay these flat on their front, folding the hat down. I fold each sleeve in, and then I'm gonna fold it in half. Do the same thing to Murky's. Next I have a hoodie for Marcus, and then for Chloe I have this little sweater. And I just didn't want to pack any huge coats because it is spring so it's not going to get too cold. And then they can just layer these underneath the rain jackets if they need to. And that is all for the outerwear. Chloe has a lot of super cute sweaters that are really thick, which I'm not going to bring with us because I want everything to be pretty lightweight and then we can layer things up if we need to but if you did need to bring some big chunky coats and warmer clothing options compression cubes are great at still conserving the space this is a set of three and again the small bag holds all of them there's one really tiny one and then two medium sized ones and the really cool thing about this is that you first unzip the outside and then all the way around there's this compression zipper. The zippers feel really strong so that you can actually really compress those clothes and save that space. 
which would be really great for really long trips as well. All you do is pack it up. You don't want to overstuff it, but it can hold quite a bit. And then all you do is zip up that outer zipper, and then you zip up the compression zipper all the way around the cube, and it ends up being this really small, tightly packed flat package. The next packing cube from that seven piece set is this one without the mesh, which I'm gonna use for the kids' shoes because sometimes the kids go through dirt and mud and I don't want it drying and just getting dust all over their clothes, so I want it to be contained inside of this nylon. Shoes can take up a lot of the space in packing, so I'm gonna keep it to bare minimum. Marky's gonna wear his Converse, which go with everything, and Chloe's gonna wear her cute pink Converse, um, so I don't have to worry about packing those. But like I said, just in case we happen to have a nice sunny day, I'm gonna be packing their sandals. These are Marky's little Birkenstocks and then Chloe has a white pair which are so cute and then for the rain if it's really rainy in Seattle we're going to be wearing rain boots so I have Marky's and then little Chloe's as well I'm just going to situate these however they will fit packing the sandals on the side probably next I have about five pairs of socks for each child I have these two really warm fuzzy socks I'm just gonna stick in the mesh compartment. Those are for if it's cold um, to wear under the rain boots. And then I have four just everyday pair for Murky that I'm going to put in his own compartment here. So Chloe just woke up from her nap and she'll be joining me for the rest of this video because she's not interested in doing anything else right now. I'm trying to organize everything so that if I need to grab shoes, the socks are right there. If I need to grab a jacket and raincoat, they're both together in the same cube. So organizing things that way is going to help save a little bit of time. Next I have about four pairs of Chloe socks that I'm just going to be stuffing in this next mesh bag. And then this packing cube is all good to go as well. These bags have handles on them too, which is kind of nice. This set also comes with a couple nylon bags. This one has a drawstring, which I'm going to pack for any dirty clothes, which will be really handy. And then I haven't decided what I'm going to bring yet, but I might bring like crayons and coloring books and stickers, stuff like that, just to make sure the kids have stuff to do while they're at my grandparents' house. So in the largest mesh bag, I'm going to be putting all of Chloe and Marcus's clothes. Even though I want to pack everything light, and for myself, I usually just pack a few clothes that I can mix and match around. Maybe I'll pack two or three pairs of jeans and just alternate them throughout the five days. But for the kids, I think it's essential to have one outfit for every day, plus one or two spares just in case. And so what I like to do is just lay out outfits with pants and matching tops. I just lay five pairs of pants and five tops in a row just so I can make sure I have a cute outfit for each child every day and then I'll add one. And this is in addition to what I carry in my diaper bag. I did already film a video on everything that I carry in there. Um, so I'll have that link down below because if there's anything missing in this video, it's because it's already in my diaper bag. So I'm going to be packing two extra set of clothes, one of which is already packed in there. And again, because we don't really know what the weather is going to be like down there, I'm packing um, two pairs of shorts for Marcus and then one for Chloe because she usually wears pants anyways. I try to avoid anything like this even though this top is super cute. Um, it's a really fit, thick fabric and um, it, so sticking with <laughs> go, go, you're in the way. So sticking with fabrics that are like cottons or jerseys are gonna save a lot more space in your packing. In the past, I've always packed Marcus's stuff on one side and Chloe's stuff on one side, but what I found is that you're always going to be dressing the kids at the same time, so it might as well all be together in the same place. That way you're only opening one mesh bag to get everything out of. So I'm just going to fold the shirts and pants um, really small so that they will all fit in this mesh bag. For the shirts, I lay them face down flat, then fold in each side, folding the sleeves down as I go, and then folding the shirt into thirds or fourths if it's a really long shirt, and then sticking it up on its side. For the pants, I just fold them in half, and then fold them into fourths as well. And then I'm going to put every outfit together so I can just grab one thing and go. So I don't have to worry about it not matching, it'll just be really easy. And, and same as with the pajamas, I'm just going to stack everything so I can see exactly what is in this bag. And then zip it up and it's ready to pack. Um, the last thing I need to do is bring their toiletries, which everything fits in this nice little waterproof pouch that is the last piece of this set. <laughs> I'm going to be packing a water bottle for Chloe's hair every morning. I have a little sample package of the Burt's Baby Bee Lotion and shampoo. I also have the kids' toothbrushes and toothpaste, and then an assortment of rubber bands and headbands and stuff for Chloe. And then just pack that up as well. 
My kids always go through three to four diapers per day. So I'm just gonna pack four for each day that we're gone. And it usually ends up being just a little bit over one package. So I'm gonna, just gonna take the whole thing. And that's one thing with diapers. If you run out, you can always just buy more. So I really try not to over pack on that because they do take up a lot of space. I have this suitcase that is just a little bit bigger than the standard size of carry-on um, so it is a checked bag but I can fit both kids clothes in this one and all the packing cubes fit perfectly inside of it as well so the first cube I'm gonna put in are their coats just down here at the bottom and then their diapers and their shoes their pajamas over here on the side I'm going to take one thing of wipes. I have one in my diaper bag, so I think two will be plenty for while we're gone. Um, and then also all of these little trees are going to go in the side as well. And then the main one, which is full of all their shirts. And then the nylon bags for the laundry, I'm just going to zip up in the mesh pocket. My hope is that this video will give you inspiration and ideas on how to pack, but also what you need for your kids when you are packing. Any snacks and that kind of thing I do keep in my diaper bag, and like I said, you can always buy stuff once you get to your destination. These are just our essentials that we need for home that we're not going to want to go to the store and buy. This is a five-piece mesh set that I will be using for mine and Daniel's packing. This one is nice because it actually fits into a carry-on size, but it has a really great small size, um, and then it has this really huge one and then two more medium sizes. It has nylon strips that will reinforce the inlets in place so that they don't slip around in your suitcase. But also you can still see exactly what's in each pouch by the mesh panel that's down the front. So it has the four packing cubes and then it also has the nylon drawstring bag that you can either use for laundry like I'm doing or for packing shoes. Thank you again to Bag Ale for sponsoring this video. I've really enjoyed the organization that your packing cubes have brought to my packing. And then anyone else who is interested in them, I will have a link to them down below. They really are a great and affordable way to organize your packing. And they have a ton of different options, colors, all of that on their website, um, including like this toiletry kit, which is actually pretty awesome. I'm gonna be giving this away over on Instagram, so make sure you follow the link down below and head over there to enter. But this one has... It's always just gonna unpack everything I just packed. This is a really compact looking toiletry bag, but it has the hook that you can hang up and a ton of space to pack everything you need. And then the side pockets also open up. Um, and it has spaces for makeup brushes, um, maybe face mask packets. It's just very, very roomy. You could even pack jewelry in these mesh pouches here. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Again, follow the links down below for the giveaway and for the packing cues. Um, if I miss, she wants me to read a book. If I missed anything, be sure to let me know what are essential for you when packing with kids. I hope you guys all have a great evening and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Say bye Coco. Bye. <laughs>